So it's the end of July now. Avery um, turned 11 years old and we can't believe that our baby is 11 years old. It's just crazy how fast time flies by and um, Addie is going to be turning 8 here in August, the beginning of August. So that's exciting. She's really excited. Um, so everything's pretty much opened up around here. Our governor just announced today that kids over the age of 10 are required to wear masks in any um, public location. I'm assuming that means like parks as well. Um, I have yet to read the details. I just got the notification on my phone a minute ago. So, um, let me know. Have you guys been taking your kids out places? Because we haven't. Um, they've gone to very few stores. So, I've taken them into Home Depot maybe two times since March. And that was mostly in the garden center. So, it was outside. And then, let me think. I don't think we haven't been out to eat or anything. Um but we don't take them anywhere. And I've taken them actually to the public pool. We have an awesome public pool in the corner. And I've taken them there, but now they are requiring reservations because there's like a max of 100 people allowed in there. And so at the beginning of the summer, we were able to make a reservation like the day before. And now it's booked out like two weeks in advance and then you have to pay online before you actually go and it's a little crazy because like today was supposed to be like 93 degrees out and it's still warm right now but it's literally been cloudy and rainy and it's just not outdoor pool um, weather because they keep the pool pretty cold um, so yeah I'm doing good. I think I had some postpartum depression that I was suffering with, which is why you guys haven't heard from me in quite some time. And um, I was on a couple different like anxiety medications and it helped on and off. But now like, now that I'm actually feeling better, I know like the last month I started to feel better. And now that I'm actually feeling better, um, I'm realizing like, how much of like a little depression I was in and so I don't know if it, I'm pretty sure it was postpartum depression and I didn't even realize like I was in the middle of it until like now so I'm glad to be out of the rut and I'm grateful to have my husband hanging through all that with me and my kids um, it wasn't easy I let a lot of things go like myself and the house like I wasn't on top of the house I stay home full-time and I'd let the dishes go and um, little things like that where I stopped like reading to my kids and tucking them into bed and whoo so what a long year that has been because that was a lot and I'm glad that I'm realizing what I had been through because now I can make a change and I know the symptoms. Um, if I ever were to fall back into postpartum depression, if any of my subscribers are ever feeling depressed or down or just completely unmotivated, message me, you guys. I'm always here for you. Um, I don't want anybody to be going through that. And I guess it wasn't like I was feeling sad or anything, you guys. I just completely lost motivation of anything that I had been passionate about before. So I wasn't like walking around feeling like I was sad. I wasn't um, like suicidal or anything like that. But I just lost complete motivation, like taking care of myself, taking care of the kids, the house. And um, yeah, just hard. So I'm glad to be feeling better though. And check out those baby hairs. I can't believe I haven't been on in so long and I really miss the community. Um, I think I really miss doing like reviews online for products and stuff, but 
I also miss just um, being able to connect with some of the moms out there. So, anywho, today is Thursday and we had friends over last night. We don't have any plans for tonight. Like I said, it's been rainy. Um, both older kids are at a friend's house right now and Ainsley is taking a nap. So as soon as I'm done with my hair, I gotta go kill the dishes. And I hate doing dishes. So I will literally clean the whole house before I wanna sit down, not sit down, but go downstairs and just do the dishes. And I realize this happens if I don't wake up at like 6.30 in the morning before the kids and clean the kitchen that early in the morning that I just dread doing the dishes and they don't get done till later in the day. Anyway, I am actually doing my hair for a video I'm about to film for you guys and I'm really excited. It's a big life change and um, hopefully it'll be up here in the next month or so, so keep an eye out for that. Maybe just a few more weeks, I haven't decided yet. But it's a big life change, isn't it? It's exciting. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram because I do upload there quite often. And so yeah, so I look forward to getting back into things with you guys. And I can't wait to show you my new video. See you later, bye.